So we're here at Gamescom with uh, Anne from the on the Berlin booth. Um, they're from Chip Venture, and they have a mobile game game for for iOS um, and Android. And Android. Um, what is um, Trip Venture? Is it an it's an adventure game? What what is it a game? What is it? Well, that's a very good question actually, because Trip Venture, first of all, is not really a game. It's um, it's a platform for several location-based games. Um, I can show you on the um, location-based games you play basically by walking through the city and then there's, there are events um, that start some point of action and you get in contact with virtual characters and um, you find virtual objects in the street and for example we have one one game which you can see here there's murder happening in the city and you you basically become the inspector finding out the, who the murderer is and you walk through the city find them um, to talk to victor well not to the victim obviously but to um, people who uh, friends with the victim or people who found um, um, basically proves, um, items of evidence mm -hmm. um, and we do this by using virtual um, elements within the real world so it's that it's the buzzword augmented reality. Okay, so you're in in a city and you visit this, uh, you visit uh, special locations and then happens something. Yeah, exactly. You walk through a city. So if if we take the Inspector Tripton example, you you start at a certain point and you are told, okay, there's a murder happening, and you walk through the town and walk to the next um, test. Uh, how do you call it, to the next person who's seen something and they tell you um, important information and you might find a riddle and you need to solve it. And um, we do this by blending in virtual persons into the real world. So um, maybe I can show it to you on the screen. I don't know how well you can see it. This is from a different game though. It's a Berlin game. I mean, we're, we're cheating now because we're not in the outside. I'm not sure whether you can see this on the camera, but we use virtual element and so you can tap on them and basically now you start going into interaction with the persons in the street. And so the, uh, the game also tells me something about the locations? Yeah, exactly. It depends on the game. So some games are more targeted towards people visiting the city. There's in points of information, important sightseeing. So one of the, the game I just showed you is about the fall of the Berlin Wall. So you walk by at the checkpoint Charlie, you walk by at the famous Brandenburg Gate, obviously, and you see the historic information as well. And some, gates are more, some games are more sort of um, into more trendy, adventurous areas. So there's one game playing in Kreuzberg in Berlin and you walk through the streets and there's lots of funny stuff happening and there's a police car coming up via augmented reality and you need to talk to the police car and it's giving you strange information okay. and stuff. So it's very adventurous. So you're from Berlin, you did make games in Berlin, but other cities uh, are, are what what other cities are in your games? No, we, we transfer the game to other cities. Obviously, there are some games where it's difficult. So the fall of the Berlin Wall, yeah. you can't transfer it, right? But the Inspector story is already um, active in nine different cities. So it's Berlin, Cologne, Hamburg, and Munich in Germany. And then there is internationally Stockholm, London, Paris, Rome, and Barcelona. Yeah, and um, there are also other games, well, the, from the four games we have now on the platform, there's three games in Berlin and one internationally present already. But there's another game targeting more sort of elderly children um, from 9 to 12, 13 years old, which is now in Berlin and we're going to transfer it to London, Barcelona and Paris as well. So we are really targeting an international rollout of the games. Okay. Um, are you visiting all those cities and getting the, the locations, photos and stuff like that? To test the games, we need to go in every city, yeah, because otherwise you can't assure the quality of the games. But um, just to, to scout the locations, yeah, it's, it's better to go and find the good locations. But in order to transfer it, we use our self-programmed editor. So we've programmed a game engine and an editor behind TripVenture. And this technology allows us actually to very easily transfer a game into another city. 
So basically we take a game which is happening in Berlin and we say, I don't know, 20% of, of the parts you know, are location specific and we need to go to another city and obviously substitute these words and all the, the locations and stuff. But we don't need to touch the other 80% of the game. So that's a way we can very easily and quickly implement the games into other cities. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what you, you said you have a crime story and a game for, for, for elderly, elderly sh uh, children. What kind of games you plan for this uh, uh, location-based games? Yeah, It's really a very broad range. So we are on one side targeting really the, the classic adventure gamers. Maybe you remember Monkey Island. Playing Monkey Island in, this, in the city would be obviously very funky. But um, sort of games which are more yeah, adventurous. Um, to family games, edutainment, but also if you go to the very other extreme, obviously as you said, touristic information is very attractive to this. So it can be also sort of gamificated tours which you do through the cities. Yeah. So you, you started with real games and uh, using it for serious games like uh, for tourism too? Well, no, we are from, from the base we're a software company. So we, we really come from the technology background. We've programmed the game engine that can do all this stuff, that can do location-based, augmented reality, everything, and an editor. So game designers themselves can actually take their ideas and without any programming skills, use our editor and transfer whatever idea they have. And that's where they come from. And really from the beginning, we saw the whole broad range of targeters. So it goes from adventure gaming to tourism, really. <laughs>